If you've ever been so exhausted that you don't recognize yourself anymore, I feel you. That was me. Burned out, overwhelmed, and stuck in the cycle of constant work, chasing promotions and pay raises. I was always on the go, waking up, rushing through the day, and collapsing into bed at night. It felt endless. And for what? I felt like I had no time to breathe, no time to myself, no time for life outside of work. Then one day, I made a choice that scared me to my core. I took a $45,000 pay cut just to have an extra day off. Sounds almost unhinged, right? But honestly, it saved me. Let me tell you why. Hi, my name is Nyla Pond and on this channel we prefer working to live, not living to work. No hustling, no grinding, just living your best life and finding practical happiness. If this is something you're interested in, feel free to stick around. I've been in the workforce for about 20 years, but it wasn't until four years ago when I started the typical nine to five job. Before that, my work schedules were a mix of day shift, night shift, weekdays, weekends, it's all over the place. I used to think nine to five was the dream, but I quickly realized that it wasn't. I work in healthcare, so remote work is not an option. My office is 20 miles away, so with parking and traffic, it took an hour to get there and about an hour and a half to get back. If you're doing the math, that's 11 hours away from home. What about weekends, you ask? Well, weekends were filled with tasks and chores I did not get to do over the weekdays. I was exhausted, physically, mentally, and emotionally. The thought of an alternative schedule kept nagging at me, but I really didn't want to quit my job because I truly loved the work. I realized my only option would be to go part-time if the opportunity ever came up. And six months later, it did. There's only one part-time position available in my department, and up until a few months ago, someone was already in it. Then, four months ago, the position became vacant. I didn't hesitate. I'd been thinking about it for months, and I knew this was exactly what I needed. I didn't tell many people when I applied for the part-time position. Honestly, I did not want to deal with too many opinions cluttering my head. I knew that if I had too many voices and too many opinions in my head, I might second guess myself. When I finally shared that I went part-time, majority of the responses from my friends and family were positive. I would say about 99% were positive. The 1% wasn't even negative. It was along the lines of, can you afford it? But for me, it was not about affording the pay cut. It was about not being able to afford staying full-time. All I thought about is gaining more time with my spouse, my toddler, and myself. This decision wasn't a spur of the moment thing. I spent months watching my stress levels rise, my energy plummet, and my time disappear. I felt like I was missing out on life. Have you ever felt like you're just watching your life pass by? If so, you'll understand how important this change was for me. Now, keep in mind, I live in a very high cost of living area, so $45,000 doesn't get you very far around here. It did make the decision harder, but I realized that sometimes you have to sacrifice something to get what is truly valuable to you. And for me, that was time. When I got the, you got the position email, I felt like a weight lifted off my shoulders. I was so relieved, but the first week felt strange. I didn't know what to do with myself. There were so many things I could do and so many things I should do that I simply got overwhelmed. I won't lie, I felt like I wasted that day on indecision. I remember sitting there thinking, I finally got what I wanted, but what do I do with it? But as I got used to my new schedule, the subsequent weeks went significantly smoother. I began to truly appreciate having a little more time and space to breathe. One of the best feelings was being able to wake up and not having to rush. I could actually sit down and enjoy my morning coffee, even read a little bit, or just be present. That's something I hadn't done in years. Here's a tip if you're like me and you get overwhelmed with too many things to do. Make a list. Yeah, I know it sounds basic, but trust me, writing it all down allows you to see things more clearly. You can prioritize, batch similar tasks, and make everything feel less chaotic. I started doing that, and it made my extra day off feel just so much more productive. Once the novelty wore off, I zoomed out a bit to see where I was, and what I saw simply reinforced that my decision was the right one. I picked up old hobbies, spent more time with my family, made time for appointments, and ran errands without having to beg for PTO. If you've ever tried scheduling a dentist appointment or a hair appointment during work hours, you know the struggle. Why is it so hard to get a couple of hours off to go to the dentist, Susan? Does anybody else deal with this? Of course, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Adjusting the budget wasn't easy. I had to make some sacrifices and cut out the luxuries I thought I needed. Luckily, there are so many options to make the budgeting significantly easier. Personally, I use You Need a Budget or YNAB, and it saved me quite a bit of time. Funny enough, when you have less time, you think about buying all the things you think might make you feel better. But with more time, all I wanted to do was simplify, enjoy the little things, and appreciate what I already had. Another big challenge was dealing with full-time workload on part-time hours. 
There were days when I felt like I was cramming too much into too little time. It stressed me out, but I'm working on clearer boundaries, communicating with my manager and delegating tasks. If any of you have faced a similar situation, let me know what you do in the comments. I'd love to hear how you handled it. Maybe I can learn something. One thing I didn't realize before is how much I needed the time alone. Before the scheduling change, I was never alone. I was either around coworkers, friends, or family. If you're someone who's constantly surrounded by people, I can't stress enough how important it is to carve out time for yourself. A space to think, reflect, and recharge, it's life-changing. Another unexpected benefit was being able to make appointments without asking for permission. Whether it's a doctor's visit, a haircut, or just running errands, not having to fight for PTO was a game changer. And here's a surprising fact, I don't miss the extra income. I spent years chasing promotions and raises thinking that it would make me happy. But now I see that time, time to be with family, time to take care of myself, is worth so much more to me. I was kind of disappointed to realize that I spent most of my life chasing something that wasn't that important to me, but it is a valuable lesson for me going forward. I used to think financial security was everything, but now I've stopped chasing what society tells me I need, and I'm focusing on what truly brings me joy. So I wanna take this moment to encourage you to reflect on your own values before you spend years chasing something that isn't truly valuable to you at your core. It's easy to get caught up in things that we think we should be doing, chasing money, promotion, status, when what we really need is time. Time to breathe, time to be present. So take a step back and ask yourself, what do I truly value? If you're at a crossroads, wondering if you should work less hours or cut down on your workload, my advice is, if you can afford it, do it. Trust me, you won't miss the money as much as you think you will. And let's be real, if you don't have the time to wear that new pretty dress or play that fun new game, What's the point? It's been four months since I've made this change, and despite the financial hit, I don't regret my decision for a second. I'm living a more balanced and fulfilling life, and that's priceless. So if you had the chance, would you make the same decision? Is time more valuable than money for you? What would you give up for more time? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps this channel grow. And if you know somebody struggling with work-life balance, send them this video. As always, keep glowing and stay inspired. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.